What's good everybody? Welcome to Danny D'Lo Biker TV. Today's episode, we're going to be answering how did I learn how to deal with depression, anxiety, and PTSD. I'm going to be answering one of you fans right after this. The sad part of reality is millions of people die every year from anxiety, depression, and PTSD. The main problem is our healthcare system is not very good. There's not a lot of help for us out here. So some of us have to learn to deal with depression, anxiety, and PTSD on our own. PTSD affects millions of people throughout our service, men and women, and, and the general public. Anybody can be traumatized by things that have happened in their past, no matter what it was. It affects all of us, and a lot of us deal with it secretly. And that's the biggest problem when dealing with these sicknesses. You cannot deal with them alone. So let's work together and let's deal with them together. Let's talk to each other and let's work this out together because ain't nobody going to help us but us. What's good everybody? Welcome back to Danny D. Low Biker TV. So the question from my fan was ANU7926. He says, can't tell you how much what you said hits home for me. Please, if you can do a video on how you got over depression and PTSD, would be much appreciated. Stay blessed and much respect. Much respect back to you, Amy. So first of all, much love and respect to you, my brother. I appreciate the love and support. And I hope this video is going to help you, and I hope my last depression video helped you as well. See, here's the key point for me on how to deal with it. Let's talk about it. It's really the only true way that I've found to work through it and get past it. See, every time I used to watch like a violent video, like, you know, a gangster flick, a gangbanger video, an old prison flick, it would trigger things. It would, it would something in the video or the, or, or the movie or even a song would trigger my thought process into what caused me to even start having these issues where did it begin you know and it's kind of like what a psychiatrist would do you know they're going to sit here and talk to you and day by day they're going to break in break in break in break into your mind and slowly but surely figure out when did it all start what started your depression what started your anxiety what started your ptsd First and foremost, let me inform you guys, I did not serve any time in the service. I can only wish that I was honorable enough to do that, but unfortunately, I chose a different path in life at that time. Originally, me and my best friend, Jeff Moyers, we were going to be Marines. We were going to join the Marine Corps, and we're going to do the best buddy plan and all, the, all that cool stuff, right? We're going to go see the world, fight for our country, and have a great time doing it. But the night before I was supposed to go and sign my paperwork, I decided to go downtown Chicago over by Hollywood Beach with a couple of homeboys. And we decided to break into cars, got into some trouble. And that was kind of the start of my career of being a dumbass, to be quite frank with you guys. So make no mistake about it, guys. My PTSD is not a form developed from being in the military overseas fighting for our country but as always thank all of you for your services to our country i thank you personally all the time <clears throat> excuse me so that being said my ptsd 
Um, first of all, there's many forms of PTSD, and it's caused by many things. It, it can be caused by childhood trauma, such as being molested, um, you know, being touched inappropriately, and even worse that I don't even want to say on here because I don't want to lose my video. Um, there's different forms of it. My form is more or less from going to prison, um, you know, being involved in the gang life, things I've seen, been a part of, done, stuff like that. Um, you know, like the old saying goes, you know, your past always comes to haunt you. Um, only those of us that have lived a certain type of past can say, yes, it does. That, that is true fact. So what I noticed what would cause my PTSD that would cause my depression and anxiety is I could be watching an old gangster flick, a gangbanger video, a prison video, something like that, and something in that would trigger my thought process that would trigger thoughts from back in the day, and the next thing I know, I was tripping. The main thing that I've learned how to deal with it is talk about it. It sounds so dumb, I know guys. Here's the deal, man. There ain't no pill that's gonna help you. There ain't no right now, today, antidote that's gonna help you. It's just not gonna happen. It's a process and it's gonna take time. But if you can train your mind to be able to go deeper into your mind to figure out the root of your problems, you can there sit down and start analyzing things and picking things apart and you can slowly but surely figure out a way to deal with it for me personally it's just talk about it until it's it's no longer a secret you know talk about whatever the problem is talk about it talk about it to a friend to a brother you can even do a video like this just for yourself to get those inner thoughts out of your head that's the thing you have to push these thoughts and these you know horrible memories and all of that stuff you have to push them out of your head so that you can clear your mind and figure out how to process all of that as it comes back into your mind that's a big key part of it so that's what i learned how to do i learned how to sit down and analyze first of all what's my trigger point that's the biggest key figure out what are your triggers all right it could be this that or another thing it could be anything mine was prison and gangbanger stuff gangster stuff you know and i'm not trying to act like i'm some cool guy i've been through some crazy because trust and believe there's guys that have done way more crazier things than i have but i've been a part of some very serious situations in life that were very life-threatening and going through those situations caused trauma in my mind you know things that i've been involved in things i've done that i can't talk about on here for legal purposes um it can really mess with your head you know and, and and it can really get really deep down into your brain to the point where you just don't know what to do anymore and after a while your brain kind of overloads and it explodes and that's what causes your ptsd depression and anxiety so that's how i learned how to deal with my anxiety was just talk about it when i start having a panic attack i can talk about it real quick and i'm good now I've gotten to the point where I feel it coming on and I'll change my channel in my head and just start watching a movie or messing around on my phone or talk to my lady, talk to my friend, say, man, I'm tripping right now. I don't know why, blah, blah, blah. And honestly, after a while, if you just let somebody know, hey, man, I'm tripping right now and I don't know what to do. And they'll talk to you, talk to them, you have a regular conversation. And before you know it, you feel good. Your chest is light again, and you just made it through it. You're done. It's over with. Now you can go on with your day. It's a very special moment in your life, to be honest with you. Now with depression, um, that's a little harder. It really is. Um, depression is more of a mind thing. It's more of a, a chemical imbalance type of situation in your body. 
and it's kind of hard to overthink or think your way out of that or to snap yourself out of it um that you kind of have to just kind of play with it play along with it let it take its course and move on with your day if you can it's going to be hard but you got to push yourself you're not going to want to leave your house you're not going to want to take a shower you're not going to want to go out with the boys your lady you're not going to want to do nothing but you have to push yourself to go and do it and after a while your mind just kind of starts wandering off back into space you start coming back down to normal and you're fine what a, one of the biggest things that i had to deal with with my ptsd is and i still have nights that i deal with this i'll wake up hearts pounding I feel like there's somebody in my house. So I have to go and check every room in my home. Then I have to go outside and check my whole piece of property. Walk all the way around my piece of property and make sure there's nobody hiding in a bush. There's nobody waiting in the dark. There's nobody here, Danny. You're going to be okay. Nobody's coming after you. You have to kind of tell yourself that and kind of trick your mind into believing it. And then you can slowly calm down and you'll go back to sleep. It's going to take an hour or so. So this video is not going to be a video of me telling you, hey, this is how you get over it. This is how I have dealt with it. And then slowly throughout the years, now I'm not going to sit here and say I'm cured because I still have my episodes, but they're very short lived now. My anxiety that used to last three or four days now lasts for a couple of minutes my depression that used to last for a week or two now lasts maybe a whole day if that my PTSD it lasts for a couple of hours and I'm good now I'm not gonna say that my methods help everybody but I can really hope that it helps somebody out here besides myself and besides the man that asked this question I really hope it helps you guys. But remember, just talk about it, man. Honestly, as dumb as it sounds, that is literally the only potion you're ever gonna take in life for these three common things that all of us deal with nowadays. Just talk about it. Let it out. Get that stuff out of your head. <clears throat> for the longest time, I never watched violent videos. I would watch cartoons. And comedies which is pretty much all I watch now too and some old cool fun you know 80, 80s flicks like Revenge of the Nerds and Porky's and you know um, uh, Hot Rod movies stuff like that you know what I mean um, you know I would watch stuff like that because it didn't trigger anything in my brain about the violence that I've endured in my life now I can watch anything and it doesn't bother me, but I still prefer to watch comedies and romantic comedies and stuff like that just because I've lived that gangster life already. Why do I want to watch it? All the stuff that I'm watching on there, half of it's bullshit, and the other half I've seen live in person with my own two eyes. So what's the point of watching it? You know what I mean? I just, I don't know. That's just how I, how I am. But I can, I can truly hope that this video has helped you some way, somehow. And remember, guys, we all deal with depression, anxiety, panic attacks. We, had, we deal with all of this shit, man. You're not, you're not an outcast, all right? Everybody that you walk past every day is dealing with the same shit you're dealing with. So don't let it make you feel like you're an outcast don't let it take over your life don't don't be sitting there dwelling like nobody else understands how i feel trust and believe millions of people in this world completely understand what you're going through and the more you try to talk about it with people you'll find out you're not by you're not you're not alone you're not by yourself the reason why i do these depression videos every now and then is because it does play a huge factor in, a, in the biker world. And in the biker world, we're so busy being men. We're so busy being gangsters. We're so busy being one percenters and, and club members and all of this stuff. We're so busy doing that. 
we forget that we're normal human beings. And in the biker world, we're so busy being manly that nobody wants to talk about these things. Nobody wants to talk about, hey, man, I feel really down today, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody wants to say stuff like that because they think they're alone. But you're not. You're truly not. The more we talk about these things, the more we can figure out how to help each other get over these things. And that's what I'm about, is helping people. So I really truly hope that this video helps somebody somehow. And as always, you can drop a comment below. Let me know what kind of video you'd like to see next on this subject or any subject. I'm always willing to answer your guys' questions. Now, this doesn't mean I'm going to answer all of your questions because some of them, quite frankly, are either out of line, none of your business, or just questions that I've either already answered in videos and, and done videos on, or they don't even deserve an answer. You know what I mean? So, trust and believe when I answer one of your questions publicly like this, it's because I think it's truly a good question and it's going to help others in life. And at the end of the day, that's just truly what I want to do is help everyone. One way, one how somehow anyhow so i hope this video helps you guys like i said as always you can drop a comment below let me know what you think about this video and maybe you can share your tips on how you deal with anxiety depression and ptsd and others can read that and kind of chime in reply thank you whatever let's help each other in this community man let's quit tearing each other apart and tearing each other down Let's help each other and build each other up. That's just a goal of mine, man. So you already know the drill. Until the next episode, keep it real and keep it 100. I'll let y'all, man. Peace.